his defense. Hey everyone, welcome back to the News Defense Channel. Today we're diving into an interesting development regarding the Philippine Air Force PAF, and their recent decision to convert brand new S-70I Black Hawk helicopters into VVIP aircraft. This move could reshape the way the country approaches its air fleet management, and we're here to explore why it's happening and what it means for future helicopter acquisitions. So let's start by getting a bit of background. The Philippine government, through its Department of National Defense DND, and the PAF, has been actively modernizing its air capabilities. A key part of this effort has been the acquisition of new S-70I Black Hawk helicopters from PZL Milets, a company based in Poland. These helicopters have already proven to be highly versatile, with their rugged design and ability to perform well in both combat and non-combat roles. They're widely used by militaries around the world, and now, the Philippines has joined the ranks of nations that rely on this powerful aircraft. Recently, there's been news that some of these newly delivered Black Hawks are being converted for VVIP use, meaning they'll be outfitted to transport the country's top government officials and military leaders. Now, what's really interesting is the decision to convert these helicopters rather than acquiring a whole new set of VVIP-specific aircraft, which was initially part of the plan. So, why the change? Well, there are a few key reasons. First, there's the issue of cost. Buying brand new VVIP helicopters is expensive, and in the current economic climate, it's no surprise that the government is trying to avoid unnecessary expenditures. Converting the Black Hawks is a much more cost-effective solution since the helicopters are already part of the inventory. It's easier to justify this decision to the public, especially considering that there's always been criticism around using public funds for what are often seen as luxury government assets. Next, there's the practical aspect. The S-70I Black Hawk is not only well-suited for combat and utility roles, but it's also a very capable transport aircraft. With its large size, modern avionics, and ability to fly in various weather conditions, it's ideal for VVIP transport. In fact, Black Hawks are already used for similar purposes in other countries. It's a tried and tested platform, meaning the government can trust its reliability and performance. But beyond cost and practicality, this decision might have deeper political implications. You see, there was initially talk of procuring new, medium-sized helicopters specifically for command and control VVIP roles. However, that plan seems to have been shelved, and this could be a strategic move to avoid potential backlash. In the Philippines, spending on government officials' transport, particularly for VVIPs, can be controversial. By using helicopters that were already acquired for broader military purposes, the DND and PAF are likely avoiding any major public criticism. After all, it's much easier to justify acquiring helicopters that can be used in combat, disaster response, and emergencies. And speaking of broader uses, this decision might actually help the PAF in more ways than one. While these helicopters are being converted for VVIP use, the overall focus remains on acquiring more S-70I Black Hawks for combat and utility operations. This is where the bigger picture comes into play. By shifting attention away from new VVIP-specific helicopters, the PAF and DND can now concentrate on acquiring additional Black Hawks in their combat utility helicopter CA, configuration. This is crucial because the PAF needs more helicopters for a variety of missions, not just for VVIP transport. Black Hawks are essential in disaster relief operations, especially in a country like the Philippines, which is prone to typhoons, earthquakes, and other natural disasters. During these emergencies, helicopters play a vital role in delivering supplies, evacuating people, and providing medical support. The versatility of the Black Hawk makes it invaluable in such situations. Moreover, from a military perspective, the S-70I is a combat-proven platform. Whether it's troop transport, medevac, or even close air support in conflict zones, the Black Hawk has demonstrated its effectiveness time and time again. 
So, by focusing on acquiring more units in the Cove variant, the PAF ensures that it's well equipped to handle both military and humanitarian missions in the future. Now, while this all sounds like a win-win for the PAF, it's important to acknowledge that the decision isn't without challenges. Converting these Black Hawks into VVIP helicopters will require some time and additional investment in modifications. The interiors will need to be reconfigured to accommodate the needs of high-ranking officials, and security features will likely need to be enhanced. But again, these modifications are still expected to cost less than buying brand new VVIP-specific aircraft. In conclusion, the decision to convert newly delivered S-70i Black Hawks into VVIP helicopters is both a practical and strategic one. It allows the government to make efficient use of its resources while avoiding public backlash over costly new purchases. At the same time, it frees up the opportunity to focus on acquiring more combat utility variants, which are desperately needed for both military and disaster response operations. The Black Hawk's versatility as a platform has made it a valuable asset for many nations, and the Philippines is no exception. As more units are added to the fleet, we can expect to see them playing an even larger role in the country's defense and emergency response capabilities. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on military and defense topics, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments what you think about the PAF's decision to convert Black Hawks for VVIP use. See you in the next video.